So hello everybody, we have uh, Mr. Sunil Chaturvedi with us, the Director of Pharma. He's here from the School of Pharmacy and uh, Technology Management. He is here to tell us the future prospects of pharmacy industry and the role of pharmacist in Swachh Bharat 2020. Please tell us. India's rank in the World Healthcare Index, which is way below. And there are various reasons for it. The lifestyle changes which have come, the food habits which have changed, the stress, the pollution level. And there are multiple operators in this who have to address this. Starting with doctors, the pharmacists, the pharmaceutical companies, the hospitals, the healthcare providers like insurance companies, pathological labs. So that all of them have to play their role for making it happen. But as far as pharmacists is concerned, they are beautifully placed at the right place and the right time. Because India is a young country. Demographically, majority of the population is between 30 and 50 and they are qualified. While all other countries are aging and they want youngsters to manage their health care. What do you think the role of the pharmacy educators are exactly in this case? The role of educators is very important and pioneering because they have to move from lab-based to patient care. So far, the education was in the complete value chain, addressing the manufacturing aspects, the sales aspect, the logistic aspects. But now it has to move to the patient's counseling and to the patient. Considering this, now most of the educators have to uh, uh, change the syllabus and bring in particularly areas like pharmacovigilance. So now let's know how is School of Pharmacy addressing these challenges from Sir. Uh, we in NMIMS School of Pharmacy and Technology Management is addressing these challenges very directly. First of all, we have got, a, we are the pioneers in, the, uh, in India of having a twin courses of pharmacy with management. We felt this need long back because it was seen and told to us by the industry that even the technically qualified people, if they don't have a business connect, then they fail to deliver as per business requirement. So we have integrated management education with the pharmacy technical qualifications. Number one. Number two, what we have seen is that most of this curricula is uh, advised by the industry stalwarts. So our syllabus is never the same for two years because the requirement of the industry is changing every year. So we prepare our students for the whole value chain of the healthcare, right from R&D, manufacturing, then quality assurance, regulatory, which has become very important, sales and marketing, and now patient counseling also. And this is supported by a very wise, and most of them PhDs faculty, the best in class instruments and uh, infrastructure, and that is why probably we get 100% placements with increasing packages every year.